All right, what up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Another episode of the Crypto Breakdown. I am your host, Ryan Matta. Topic of the day, how do we connect our Binance Smart Chain wallet to PancakeSwap? So we're gonna get set up on PancakeSwap so we can actually buy tokens. The problem is, how do you actually get BNB onto your wallet? That's the tricky part. You have three different wallets on your Binance Smart Chain. So we're gonna dive through every step of the way because it was very confusing, especially for an absolute beginner. So let's dive in, let's get it. And of course, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial investor and I never advise you to invest in crypto in any way, shape, or form. Thank you. So the first thing we're gonna do, come over here to Google Chrome and type in Binance Wallet Extension. You're gonna need to get the Binance Wallet Extension from Google Chrome. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna hit connect. Then when we come over to our drop down here, we're gonna click the little pin button. That way it pins it right up here to the top. If you click on it, it's gonna ask you for your password. I'm obviously not gonna show you guys mine. So I just had this issue. I was trying to buy a couple coins over here on PancakeSwap and I couldn't figure out exactly how to actually get that token token and get money onto my Binance Smart Chain. In order to buy tokens on PancakeSwap, you need to have coins on Binance Smart Chain Network, not the Binance Chain Network. But when you send money over to your wallet, it automatically sends BNB over to this address. So how do we do that? We're gonna come over here now, we're gonna type in pancakeswap.finance. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna hit connect wallet. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna choose Binance Smart Chain and you get this error, invariant failed. And what that's saying is that because I have chosen Binance Chain Network, where if you can see right now, when you send money over to your Binance wallet, the only way you can actually send it is to this address. So we need to get tokens from this address over on to the actual Smart Chain Network. That way we can actually buy tokens on PancakeSwap. So it's really simple. I was very surprised at actually how simple that was. We're gonna go into our Binance Smart Chain Network and you can see I have BUSD here. I'm gonna click on it, I'm gonna choose send and we need to get our addresses. So we're gonna come back over to our Smart Chain wallet if I didn't have BUSD here, I would just come here, search for BUSD, and the address will come up. I'm gonna show you guys how to add custom tokens here as well. All right, so now I'm about to show you guys how to actually send BNB from one chain wallet to the other. You have your smart chain, you have your regular Binance chain wallet, and then you have an Ethereum wallet on the Binance chain as well. When you originally send BNB from any other exchange or any other place, you actually have to send it to the actual chain wallet. And then from your chain wallet, you have to send it over to your smart chain wallet super weird I know but stick with me I didn't realize that I actually have to have BNB so it's super important to keep BNB in the main wallet don't transfer it all to your smart chain wallet because you need it every time you need to transfer a new coin over the smart chain wallet to pay the gas fees so you'll see me mess it up here also important to make sure that you actually have the addresses right you're gonna see me mess that up too so let's get it so now just make sure we are in Binance smart chain network we're gonna choose our token BUSD, we're gonna choose receive. We're gonna copy this address. We're gonna come back over here. We're gonna choose our Binance Chain Network. So we're now in our Binance Chain Network where we have our BUSD. We're gonna choose send. We're gonna paste in our address. Memo, you can leave this field blank if not required by receipt. Choose, oh, and you see I have chosen BNB. I need to make sure I choose BUSD. Make sure, make sure you get this right. Make sure you have BUSD selected, the right address, the amount you wanna send. I just chose max, so I'm gonna send over almost $1,000. And I'm gonna hit send. It's gonna charge you 0 0.00475 BNB as a gas fees. So it's insignificant gas funds. That's so lame, they can't. So let's see if I can cancel that. Let's see if we can do less. Let's definitely leave some extra in here. So we'll just send over 900. So insignificant gas fees, I have to have BNB in this wallet. So now I need to send BNB back to the native chain. Wow, this is goofy. And they're gonna charge me two tenths of a gas fee to try to send BNB back to the other wallet. Man, they got you coming and going over here on these Binance chain wallets. I tell you what, now I need to go back to my smart chain, get my BUSD address. <laughs> Copy that, 
Come back over here to my smart chain. Now I'm still waiting on the 0.25 BNB to come back to my, my regular chain wallet so I can send it to my smart chain wallet. And now we have it over here. So I have $118 worth of BNB. Let's see what it's gonna charge me in gas fees to send this. BUSD selected, address, no MIMO needed, max, I can send it all. So there's my gas fee. Let's see what that is in US dollars. So it cost me $2 roughly. That's not bad compared to Ethereum. So now I just wanna make sure that I actually have the right wallet turned on when I go back to connect my wallet. So you need to have Binance Smart Chain Wallet connected, meaning this one has to be actually on your screen. Now, if I come over here and connect wallet, choose Binance Chain, bam, I'm connected. Now, if I want to buy coins over on this exchange, I go to exchanges. I come down here and now you can see right here, our balance is 1.3. Now, let's say I wanted to buy a token that was brand new that actually wasn't on my wallet. So sometimes I like to go over to Masari IO and check out and see what tokens Masari has coming up. So we'll try to find a random new token together. Take a look over here on Lunar Crush and see if we can't see any popular coins and see what's trending. Maybe a new hot coin's trending. We'll do a little bit of research together. We'll come over here. Sometimes if you click on the search bar, Baby ETH. Okay, Baby ETH just came out today. This will be a perfect example of one that's probably gonna get pumped and it's probably a fake coin. So Baby ETH, let's come over here. Let's copy this address because this is what you need, the address right here. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna copy this coin's wallet ID. I don't know how else to better explain it. I don't really understand it that well, but just in layman terms, each coin has its own unique wallet address on the Binance Smart Chain or Ethereum Chain or Cardano, whatever the coin or whatever the chain is. This coin's actually on the BNB chain. So we need to add that wallet address to our actual Smart Chain wallet. That way, once we buy the coins on PancakeSwap, we can actually see them being held in our wallet. Now you can actually send them to your wallet and you just won't be able to view how many you have until you actually add that coin. So that's what we're gonna do. Also, when you go on CoinMarketCap and you search a coin and you can see the marketplaces that that coin is on that's how you know where you need to actually buy that coin at so we found this coin on pancake swap we went on to coin market cap we're going to grab the coins wallet id we're going to add that to the token we want to buy on pancake swap and then we're also going to come over and we're going to add it into our wallet that way once we buy the coins we can actually see them in our binance smart chain wallet sorry guys i just want to be over the top for the absolute beginner so you guys actually understand what we are doing if i come back over to pancake swap and i come down and i select the currency and i type in baby ETH, baby cake baby doge baby ETH. so token not found go to manage tokens go to token come down here paste in the address so now you can see baby ETH. We're gonna import. It's gonna say, I understand like, hey, this could be a fake token. Yes, I get it. So now you can see baby ETH is here. If I come here and I type in one, a lot of times it won't let you actually buy baby ETH because you put in such a random number. So I just wanted to say, okay, roughly one BNB is what? Like four or 500 bucks. Okay, I only wanna buy $250 worth of baby ETH. So roughly about half a BNB. So I see that one BNB equals 8 million baby ETH. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put in a, I'm gonna say like 500,000 and there we go. So right there, 5 million baby ETH for half a BNB, a couple hundred bucks. So now I'm gonna choose swap. A lot of times you won't get this confirmed swap page. It'll be an issue. It's because you just typed in one BNB. So it's price is going up now, so let's go. Now I need to come over here to my Binance wallet. And I also need to add the token. I'm gonna to do custom asset, paste address, and go bam. Baby ETH must have just came out. <laughs> now over here in a few minutes, oh, there it is. There's my baby ETH, 4.25 million baby ETH. I officially own some baby ETH, whatever the heck that coin is. I almost guarantee it's a, it's a fake or a scam coin, but we must have got in on baby ETH uh, like in the last five minutes. So that's insane. <laughs> I don't know what these coins are, but it's already up 4.5% in a few minutes. And that's a wrap on PancakeSwap. How to set up... <laughs> 
how to buy random tokens, everything you need to know about getting coins and buying coins and using your Binance Smart Chain wallet, every issue that I had to figure out. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys. Everybody who hits that like button, hits that subscribe button. I can't thank you guys enough. Everybody goes out of their way to drop comments on my videos. Let me let me know if there's any brand new, really low cap altcoins that you guys see coming out right now. Let me know which ones you're buying. I think that this altcoin season could be crazy. Before the regulations come and everything, I'm gonna throw some profits, 10% of my portfolio at some of these random low cap altcoins. So I love you guys. Let me know what coins you guys are buying. Let me know what your favorite altcoins are. I got my bags packed on all the good coins, Crow, Cardano, BNB, v chain pundi mana one <laughs> the list goes on so i'm doing a little hunt now on some of these new low cap coins just to see what happens so i love you guys can't wait to see you guys next video peace